All right, we know him as the lone survivor. That's the title of his book in the movie, and retired Navy SEAL. But here in Texas, Marcus Luttrell is better known, believe it or not, as a family man. So what does Marcus Luttrell do when he's not being an American hero? I guess he always is an American yeah. hero, though, right? We had an opportunity to go out to his ranch, which is about an hour outside of Houston. So watch this. Take an order around here. Yeah. You got to know that I wake up every morning and have the greatest day of my life. I mean, I have no pain. I move around. I, and uh, it's fantastic. I just love life. My brother came up with the idea of being Navy, a Navy SEAL. And I mean, he uh, he's the older brother. He's the alpha of the two of us. And he kind of... He's the older brother by how many minutes? Seven. So he's like, we're going to be SEALs. I was like, let's do it. What is that? Yeah. You know, I, I had no <laughs> yeah. idea. All right, so then how did you and your brother decide you wanted to fight for this country? Well, it's family tradition. You can track it back in our family a long way. And it's not a mandatory thing. It's just you hear all the stories about it, and it's just uh, it's, you know, our family's that way, real patriotic, and that's just kind of how, how it is. They grew up knowing how to work. They knew how to work when they were small children. And you said that's how it got you through when your yes. boys were fighting overseas. Yes. You... It's the only way I got through all those deployments was to put my head down first thing in the morning, go to work, and work until I dropped into bed at night, not think. What was that like as a mother? It was hell. It was hell. And then when he was lost, was the worst. I wouldn't wish it on my worst enemy. Everything that I had been through in the past, all that, all that bad stuff, I don't, I don't look at it that way because that was my job. That was my responsibility as an American. I mean, I wanted to do it. I grew up on a horse ranch, and <laughs> you know, my mother would never let me get away from it. Okay, you ready? One, two, three. Thanks, Marcus. Okay. Just shift your hands just a little bit. Tap him like that, and he'll kind of like a car. Marcus, how many horses did you have growing up? We had 250 head on the ranch, and then my brother and I each had got to pick our own horse when we were in fourth grade, I think. Now we're going to go do a little shooting? Yeah, you're getting full family benefits, I guess. <laughs> Is this where you always do your shooting out here? I do. Here's what we're going to do. Get in there. Good stance. All right, pull it in. Just get comfortable. Right. Don't be afraid. Yeah. Grip good. Mm -hmm. Good base. Good stance. You ready? There you go. Weapons on fire. Yep. Finger in the trigger well. Okay. Pull when ready. Boom. Both eyes open. A little bit no. low. Good. Good. You bought the ranch where you just like, we want to have a great place for the kids to grow up. We want fishing and we want the horses, we want animals, we want a nice house. What you'll see out here, if you had a chance, is things I've seen throughout my life and places that were beautiful and, and like this old pond was stuck back in a hollow somewhere where I used to go fishing with my brother. That's what this is. Try to just create our own little haven out here. What do you love most about us? She points me in the direction I need to go, and I'll go. What do you love about him? Everything. I love his confidence. I love how caring he is. Um, a lot of people look at him as this big badass, and I see a teddy bear. She sees a teddy bear. They are such an amazing couple. That's great. And Melanie, my word, God put them together. They are such an amazing couple and team together. She's helped him through so much, and he's had lots of surgeries because he fought for our country, so many deployments, and an amazing American hero. And I said, Marcus, what is it like? How does an American hero live when we first got onto the mm -hmm. ranch? And he said, Here on my ranch, I'm not an American hero. My name is Marcus. That's He's great. very humble. He is indeed. Their kids are so precious, and they, they've opened up their home to so many different people. Any Navy SEAL that's gone through what he's gone through or experienced, you know, over, uh, being deployed overseas, he welcomes them onto his property, and he says, come stay. Come stay for two weeks. Come stay for however long you want. That's Rick great. Perry took him in the governor's mansion. He did. Helped him turn his life around when he was going through some really hard times. And then he moved from the governor's mansion in with Melanie. He met Melanie on a blind date, and he said, I'm going to marry you. And the next day, they moved in together. And 
It's rest is history. Yeah, he yeah. doesn't do anything without checking with her uh, first. They are, they are an amazing. He is a dude. smart man. And <laughs> I said, I did say, we didn't have enough time for it because the, there were so many great bites, but I did say, what do you love about her? You saw one little clip. He said, how much time do you have? And he went oh, on great. and on and on about all the great things about her. Wow, he's going to get a great Valentine's Day gift.